Good morning you lovely lot and welcome back to Monday after payday weekend. Hope you had a, uh, a nice weekend of sales and stuff. Mine wasn't too bad. I think I've got um, 15 or 16 orders going out. Uh, 11 on eBay, 4 on Depop. Um, I don't think I made any vintage sales over the weekend which is very strange but um, I do like payday weekend. So you join me again, I'm sat on the computer, got my toast there, got boring old bread today, no, no fancy bread. Uh, decided to go with a Diet Coke instead of my juice. My wife is messaging me. Uh, there's all the parcels all over there. There's a nice variety of stuff over there. So we've got, um, I'll spin around and show you. So we've got like clothing, obviously, because I heavily clothing. We've got um, a pair of uh, wireless headphones, a game, a bag, uh, a hive heating thing. If you ever see these hive things at Boots Owls, uh, really worth picking them up because uh, they sell for quite good money um, clothes and then a game came in this morning um, I'm waiting on two uh, let's just get Depop up while it's on my mind I'm waiting on two people to pay one person said they were going to pay today because they got paid today um, and then the other one uh, sent me an offer from America I accepted it and then it's just been blanking me uh, usually what I do with um, I try and I don't I really really don't like the eBay make give buyers four days to pay just really oh, I don't know what is up with them because Depop if someone sends you an offer and you accept it the item doesn't come off for sale unless they pay and Vinted someone sends you an offer and you accept it the item doesn't come off for sale until they pay why can't eBay do this why so what I do is I send after four hours I send the payment reminder and then anywhere between sort of like six seven hours and maybe a day i'll send them another message saying like hi do you still want this item it's ready to go out if i don't hear anything back from you by blah blah um i'll assume you don't want it and i'll cancel the sale because one of the two things happens there either you get ignored and then they're obviously not going to pay so you might as well just cancel the sale because the buyer getting an unpaid item strike seems to do nothing um, or it prompts a response out of them like it did with the uh, the figure that I'm waiting for the, the pop figure that I'm waiting for them to pay for so after four hours sent them a payment reminder nothing so the following day sent that message and within 10 minutes I got a reply saying oh I have until the 5th of October to pay for it I get paid on Monday I'll pay then so it's like people they just take advantage of it and they just ignore you and it's so rude you know we have to accept that people have four days to pay for things on eBay and as much as we all hate it there's not a lot we can do about it but a nice courtesy message after you win the item or whatever or if you get sent a reminder just saying oh hi sorry I was meant to say that um, I'll pay for this in two days or whatever and then like the buyer's like oh that's, that's a bit annoying but okay at least the they're actually going to pay for it. They're not just going to ghost me for the next four days because they get their jollies off of randomly making people accept offers because they're weird and lonely and in the basement eating sugar puffs. Anyway, <laughs> it's Monday. I'm not quite awake yet. So um, yeah, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to eat my toast, I'm going to label up my um, orders and I need to go send them, obviously. Um, I'm probably going to go do some charity shots today because the weather decided it wouldn't let me go to a boot sale yesterday. It, um, from about 3am till about 10am, decided it wanted to hack it down all day and then from about 10.30am for the rest of the day, it was a nice day. Why well, couldn't have done that the other way around, I don't know, but yeah, so I'm gonna probably go do some charity shops. There's a new shop that's opened in town near me where apparently everything's a pound um, and they do all types of clothing. Apparently they're claiming they do designer clothing as well, so it could be interesting. So I've gotta go see if I can find that shop. But um, anyway, continuously rambling on, gonna eat my toast, gonna drink my Coke, gonna, do all my labels, uh, 
and then I need to do some listing because yeah, I've got 16 orders that can't have gone out, and I only listed three things over the weekend. Oh, um, just quickly, um, why it's on my mind actually. So I showed you a pair of trainers, uh, Nike trainers, in one of my last videos. I can't remember. Was it the last one or the first one? Just with an opinion of what people would do with them and said that I got them for free, the woman was going to throw them out, I offered to give her some money, she said she didn't want any. I showed you the condition of them and now only one person commented, I'm not, I haven't got millions and millions of followers so I wasn't expecting like tons and tons of comments, but one person commented and said that they'd take the laces and the inner soles out and throw the shoe because the shoe was gone. Now this isn't um, a diss towards that person, sorry I can't remember your name now, but um, I just want to point out, no, not point out, because I'm not trying to make a point, but I am trying to make... I'm just trying to show that sometimes you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Like, there's, that saying is just... Couldn't be any further from the truth. Um, so I'll insert a picture um, to show you what it looked like, just in case uh, you can't remember and can't be bothered to go back to one of the past videos to find it. So two videos but um, this is it now so after I've cleaned it I mean yeah okay there's the scuffing on the front there's not a lot I could do about that I could get some blue paint and I could touch that in so it wasn't such an eyesore but it's not that bad but look at the transformation compared to what they were they've come out absolutely stunning and I've basically turned a pair of shoes that someone was going to throw away into a pair of shoes that someone would probably happily pay fifteen, eighteen pound for because obviously they're not in amazing condition. Um, the suede is, I mean, the suede's still slightly drying, so it's still a bit sort of. Can you hear to the touch? But um, with a suede brush, once they're fully dry, I'll reset the nap on them. And I'll put some uh, some suede conditioning on them, and they'll be going up for sale. Pretty impressive, eh? Anyway, so <coughs> right, let's put them back up there to dry. <coughs> so, gonna eat my toast. Been rambling on for eight minutes now. Eat my toast, do my labels, and uh, I'm not too sure where you'll catch up with me next. Um, I don't really see the point of showing you the labels unless. No, I won't bother showing the labels because it's, I've showed you all the, the parcels over there and I showed you briefly on the screen. Um, so yeah, you'll probably now, next catch up with me when I go to the charity shops. Uh, obviously I'm not going to take you around with a GoPro, um, but I'll show you if I get any pickups. Right, so yeah, we went out and done some charity shops, so I'll flip you around and show you what I got. I've got quite a lot of stuff, it's been uh, about £80. Also went to a new £1 clothing store today. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting for me, but cop on me. Show you everything I picked up. Right, so to start off with, got this uh, blazer, which is a uh, tweed. Um, so it's a uh, St. Michael's, uh, which is Marks and Spencer's, it's like a casual jacket. Uh, what did we pay? We paid $5.99, should be around about 25 to 30 on that. Uh, this is quite cool, so it's not an official um, South Park, it's George, but it's on an older tag. So when it says 1998 there, even though it's not single stitch, um, I believe it's probably from around about then. I don't actually think George would ever put dates on their tags. Um, let have a look. No, but I reckon it's probably from around about that kind of era. Um, it's very nice, very good condition. Big, what do we pay? 3 dollars um, I have to do some research in it, but it should be around about 25 to 30. Uh, this was a, a little bit of a fail. Um, I know Jules uh, polos can do quite well, like the, uh, the ones with the big spell outs and stuff on them. And I know flannel shirts do quite well. So I picked this up. It was £6.50. I'll probably get about £15 back for it. So it's not amazing. Uh, this um, this is a prime example of why you should always go over clothing no matter where you are. 
because I didn't actually notice that until I was paying which is a little bit of a pain but it'll probably be why it was only £3.50 because it's a uh, Orvis if you don't know about Orvis Orvis is a really good brand uh, it's quite a nice shirt I think it will still sell alright even like that but the value will be affected in probably around about £12-£15 uh, this is quite nice so this is a brand to look out for if you find the levers they can go for really good money um, I believe they do motorbike clothing as well someone might want to correct me if that if I'm wrong but this is like a it's like a wax cotton it's 100% cotton but it doesn't say it's wax cotton but it is like a wax cotton um, I paid up a bit for it I paid £15 for it I was I'm in an R in was in the shop and I had a look online and I've seen I see people ask I know you can ask whatever you want for things but I see people asking like 75 80 pound for them um, so I'm gonna I'm going to aim for around about £50 for that, and I think it'll probably fetch that. Um, this is very nice. But yeah, 15 into 15, alright I suppose. Uh, this is quite cool, so this will probably um, take a little while to sell. We might not, but because of the time of the year, but... Oh, pardon me, not long eating, sorry about the burping. <laughs> so this is um, a company called Reportage and they're made in Italy so that's always a good thing to see made in Italy still new with tags that's always a good thing to see lovely suede that's a good thing to see it's £15 paying up a bit um, but a used one like this went for 45 well it went on offer from £45 but well, this is obviously brand new still and everything so I'm gonna probably stick it out for about 70 80 and see what kind of attention I get from it but yeah it's very nice uh, next we've got this Wrangler Western shirt it's popper um, are they mother of pearl yeah I think they might be they're cold and they're a bit rough which usually means that they are mother of pearl Wrangler obviously we all know Wrangler is a, a pretty good brand never quite as good as Levi's in this country anyway but still has a good following nevertheless nice shirt Bit on the smaller size and say probably a small to medium paid two pound for it should be a nice 15 to 20. Uh, then we're going to get on to the pound clothing shop um, so i've got a pair of levi's women's levi demi curve uh, skinny leg um, what size are they they are a 28 32 so they're not a bad size pretty good condition um, should be around about the 15 to 20 pound for them so it's not quite not not quite bad not too bad I've actually got um, another pair somewhere I think maybe in my box behind me uh, again from the pound clothing shop oh, I was not gonna leave this it's a duffel coat there's a pound made in England it's not the biggest of sizes but it was a pound you know and Duffel coat could be 30 quid. Uh, this is quite cool. So, Sydney 2000, uh, not single stitch obviously because 2000 does need a bit of a clean around the collar. Um, we've got Oxy Clean, which will usually whiten that back up. Well, oh, it's grey, but um, and then obviously a nice big print on the back uh, should do pretty well. Again, paid a pound once it's all cleaned, should be around about 15 20 pound mark. Uh, then we've got a couple of pairs of shoes so these adidas um not too sure what trainers they are um the easiest way to find out is uh you see the art code there just put adidas and the art code into the google search and it'll tell you they need a little bit of a clean but as you saw from my cortez nikes over there i can get these looking spanking pay two pound for them uh, without looking maybe 20 15 20 uh, these are nice they're um, I can't say the Vero Colidio or something <laughs> um, but yeah paid up a little bit for these 10 pounds but um, they're really good quality but then uh, I, I didn't see that in the shop again not paying attention I mean I could I could take it to a shoe place and they could fix it or I could just sell it with that issue um, but 
If they were in perfect fine order, probably around about £50 for these shoes. Um, well, they're sort of like chucker boots. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do about that. What do you think? Do you think I should take it and have it fixed or just sell it as it is? Uh, then we've got a pair of um, Clarks. Clark, I, I always pick up Clarks when they're like sort of under £10 because even though the Clarks are, are not massively expensive shoes, they're really well made shoes and they will always sell for £20 to £30. Pound. Uh, these ones are sort of like, I don't know, kind of like a driving deck shoe like a hybrid but uh, nice size I think size 9 which is yeah, a very good size paid 6 dollars for them and it should be at least 25 there and the last thing is just this uh, old boy cap um, it's got that nice tweed uh, look that everybody likes and uh, what do we pay we pay £5 for it. it's paid up a little bit don't usually want to pay £5 for one of these but again it's a uh, tweed and 100% new wool so I reckon that'll probably fetch around about 25, 30 pound again as well. So yeah, that's basically my day for today. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted. The weather needs to make its mind up. This morning it was quite chilly and then while I was out and about, it started getting really, really quite warm and phew, I think I need to go and have a shower now. But um, yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crack on with some listing. Um, and that's about it really. Uh, Still waiting for people to pay up for sales, which is really, really annoying. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. See you later.